Hello Kingston, today we're going to talk about buying a house and the steps involved with that, right? Right. Right. Hello everyone, I'm Dan D and this is Amy B. Hi hey, Amy. Hi. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about the steps to buying your first home, or at home, any home in general. Do you know how to buy a home? I don't. You, really? I think I know. Okay, so what's the first step to buying a home? Well, would we need to get a mortgage or would we need to find a real estate agent first? You could actually do either. So I always tell people that the first step is go and get your finances sorted out. But if you don't have a mortgage broker, then you could talk to a realtor and he could probably set you up and find you somebody to, to look at that stuff for you. So I guess that would be step one. Get your finances sorted out. Talk to somebody about a mortgage and see what you can afford. Do you know what step two is? Well, I would guess then finding a realtor. That would be it. Now, do you know a good realtor? I do, actually. <laughs> it's my friend here, Dan. That's me. Um, so, and then when you find a realtor, you're going to discuss with them what you're looking for. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, they want everything. Yeah, I'd but, like a nice big house. Right? Yeah. yeah, but those cost money. They do. They do. Some people don't have money. And a lot of people don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. We don't have any money. <laughs> We're banking on this YouTube money, actually, but I'm not seeing that coming to fruition. <laughs> Show your friends this video. <laughs> Please share. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yes, you're going to find a realtor. You're going to discuss what you want, what you're looking for, and what you need. You know, most realtors are going to gauge the type of house you're looking for and something that you can grow into over the next five years. Uh, here's a very important point. The first house you buy yeah. is not going to be the last house you buy. This a lot of true. people want to buy houses and just kind of stay in that one. But it doesn't work like that. Life changes and your house is going to change with that. So base your plan on around five years. Look at what you need over the next five years. And then you can always reevaluate from that. So yeah. for me. For you. I have myself and my daughter. Okay. Two bedroom house. All right. I work full time. Mm-hmm. So we found the mortgage broker. Okay. Figured out that I can afford, you know, two hundred and ten thousand dollars okay. for a home, two bedroom right. home. Mm -hmm. I've got my realtor. Yes, you Mr. do. Costa. What yeah. next? Uh, next, we go look at some houses in your price range. Cool. We, we're going to try and build a plan because you need, you know, two bedrooms and you work a lot, and then you're busy taking care of your daughter. Mm -hmm. So maybe a house that you have to maintain all of it wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, I agree. I'm not very. Maybe handy. like. Uh, like a condo type house, mm -hmm. uh, like a condo townhouse. So you have a little bit of a yard that's maintained for you, mm -hmm. driveway, uh, but you still have the three bedrooms and all the space that you're going to need. I like that. Yeah, and you know you can get them in around Kingston for around one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Thing is, you got to take into consideration the condo fees that are going to come with that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So there, there you go. You got you got your house. You know what you're looking for. You're going to go with your realtor or me. You're going to go with me. Damn. Yeah, me Damn, Dan. Dan. Uh, and then we're going to go and look at some houses. We're going to pick one that, that works with you and, you know, go through the likes and dislikes and take a look and see what similar houses are selling for and get you a good good price on it, right? Cool. So that's the brand. So which brings us to the next step, the next step in the process. You've got your mortgage, you've got your realtor. Now we're going to talk about the, the process. So you're going to put an offer together. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to negotiate that off. We're not going to get into a giant amount of detail on all this. Your specifics. realtor. Yeah. Yeah. We'll your realtor this. will do that. And it's just going to take up a lot of time. And really, you guys have a retention of like, a goldfish. So I'm sure you probably stopped watching <laughs> it by now. Uh, so Very nice. we're going to go through the offer, the negotiation. Then you're going to remove your conditions. So if you have a home inspection condition and financing condition, you need to satisfy those. And then you're going to take them off the offer. When, so that seems a little confusing. Can we maybe do a video later about um, yeah, we'll all go through the conditions? Yeah, that's a good idea. That. So yeah. we're going to do a, a video on the whole offering process right to closing. And we're just going to skim over it today. And so offer negotiation, remove conditions. Then your deal becomes firm and you're going to wait for your closing date. So set up your bills and all that other kind of stuff and get ready for the move, really. Awesome. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much. So those are the real simple steps to buying a house. Do you have any questions on that? Uh, no, like I said, I think, you know, we'll do another video later to explain the, uh, the conditions, but maybe we'll go look at some houses. Yeah, we should do that too. Yeah. yeah we'll go maybe go we'll meet with a mortgage and we'll show you guys how that all works. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll introduce it to a couple of mortgage brokers or at least one or whoever was willing to show up on camera. 
and get him to talk some shit about it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and visit us at kingstonhomesforyou.ca, follow us on Facebook, find us on YouTube, you know, all that stuff, and we'll see you later. Bye.